Welcome to the Soothing Semantics Podcast. I'm your host, Rafi Pinsky. Make sure to subscribe, like, share, leave your comments. As always, for all of your real estate needs, make sure to check out my link in bio on Instagram at Rafi the Realtor so you can get all of the up-to-date real estate information in my weekly newsletter. If you're looking to buy, rent, sell, invest, I would be very, very happy to help you. On this week's episode, we have another Gordon on the show. We had uh, Ruach last week, and now we have Ahavat on the show, another brother in the Gordon family. We have one more to go before we finish off uh, all three in the family. So welcome. Yeah. Welcome, actually. How are you? Thank you, man. Thank you. I'm good. Glad to good be here. Too. I'm happy to have you, man. So Ahavat is another Muay Thai fighter, 4-0 in his professional record, just won a fight by unanimous de- decision in Muay Thai, he has a record of 4-0, and I wanted to just get to, little, get to know you better, discuss your, you know, road to Muay Thai, just like your other two brothers, and what your plans are for the future. So, welcome, and uh, give us a little bit of an idea, first of all, of, of how you got into Muay Thai. So, yeah, I'm uh, the youngest of the brothers, I'm the, the youngest in the family also. Uh, so I started last, I joined last from my buddy. I got my uh, two of the brothers for, I followed them in, into the path of uh, competing, how in competing, competing internationally. Um, so I started the Muay Thai journey with my brothers. competing. One with thing them. real quick, try to talk, maybe come yeah. a little bit closer to the phone because it's a little yeah. bit fuzzy. It's a little bit hard to hear you. Yeah, go ahead. Is it better now? It's a little bit better now, yeah. Yeah. I try. Maybe later, if the computer stop working, you could uh, move to the computer if it's better, or for the Zoom. Yeah, I think it'll it also yeah we we I think we could try this way. Just uh, as long as you're closer okay. to the phone, it should be okay. Okay, fine. So yeah, my journey journey to the Muay Thai is uh I just follow them, all the brothers whatever they do, and try to do better. Uh, a big comp- it's had a bit of competition between the all the brothers who has uh the most wins, the most knockouts. So I was trying to do my best to be in the top uh, for my... Uh, so that's my journey to Muay Thai. Follow my brothers. That's what we did. Gotcha. Okay. No, it's it's pretty cool that everybody in your family is... Well, at least... Do you have others? Do you have other people in the family or just you, the other brothers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we have, we're a big fan. You're a big fan. You have an old brother. Awesome. Uh, he's from the U.S. He got us all into it. He put Kibedi into it first. Kibedi joined first. And then uh, uh, Emun. We have all the brother Emun. He's a Muay Thai coach in Israel. He has also the gym in Zichon. And, and then Ruach joined. Then I joined. And we had a sister that also joined. She trained for a couple of years. She got an Israel, she was an Israel, Israel champion for Gion. Uh, her weight class. So we're all into it. All the fans into it. That's pretty cool. That's that's definitely that's definitely a family you don't wanna you don't wanna mess around with, you know? No, 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 you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine you're all home in the house and somebody tries to break into the house. That would be a pretty bad idea, you know. What that's I mean? that's the joke we always talk about. Like uh last year when everybody was home, just walking around Tel Aviv, all the brothers and they just looking at each other, like if anybody just trying to come no no steal something or pick a fight, <laughs> you're gonna be hilarious. Yeah, it'd be a pretty bad idea. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, so are you are you also you said you want to switch, you want to do this for a couple of more years. Uh you want to get, I guess, uh, a championship of some sort. Well, meaning how how much longer do you want to stay in Muay Thai before you transfer out to MMA? Because I think that you said that was your goal. Yeah. So um at the beginning I uh as if anybody knows, I was in kickboxing for a year. I got a world championship there. I got a medal and uh, some most prestigious uh, achievements. And after that, um, my love for Muay Thai we faded away, so I wanted to switch straight to Muay- MMA. But my coach decided to put me back in Muay Thai for a bit. And the second I started competing again, the love came back for it and the hunger for Muay Thai achievements came. But I uh, decided to stay longer a year or two to even 
and get like the most prestigious uh, achievements. Um, so now I'm living in Bangkok. I switched. Uh, I'm here for like already four months. Yep. And everything's happening so fast, actually. I, I like I, I had this is my fourth. This is my fourth professional fight. Already fought the biggest league of Thai boxing and Muay Thai in the world. So I'm not sure how fast, but I'm training so hard. And my level is going up very fast. I feel so good. I feel in the best shape. Uh, um, and my, with the training partners, the, the best Thai uh, athletes here. And I'm now staying level in them, even a bit better, a bit stronger. So I want to get the Raj Daman belt. Um, even this year, I want to fight for the belt. Um, and after that, we can see, we can see if I have a bigger offer than Muay Thai, I will uh do a couple more fights. But that's the goal that I see him as will keep me hungry for Muay Thai. But after that, uh, probably switch to MMA. Interesting. Okay. Well, that's 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 quite impressive. So pretty much, your coach got you to stay in Muay Thai because he, I guess, he saw. He saw value in you, you know, he saw potential. Yeah. So yeah. just similar, similar to your brother, uh, Ruach, he, he was uh, mentioning also that he, in the beginning, had these fighters that he really respected, and then he ended up fighting and beating some of them. And so it sounds like you have that same confidence where you're a young guy. How, how old are you? I'm 17. 17? 17, yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. Holy shit. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's insane. Wow. It just goes to show you, man, how age is really a, a number, man, because you have kids, most, bro, most kids your age, when I was your age, bro, I mean, I was working and I was pretty productive even at 17, but I was still partying a lot. And like, you are just, it's really impressive. That's bro. like the sacrifice you need to make, you know, um, it's hard. You want to enjoy, enjoy with friends, be with friends. But now, like, all my friends are back home, and, and I'm here just living the Muay Thai life. Uh, it's a sacrifice, but I love the sacrifice, and I love the uh, achievements I'm getting, and I love where I, I am. I got, like, in such high level since last year, and it's amazing. It's all because of the sacrifice I do. I, I Honestly, man, the older I get, the more I think that it's it's a lot more valuable because – you know, parties are fun. Vacations are fun. I personally, I personally appreciate the celebrations. And I don't, when I say celebrations, I don't mean like alcohol celebrations, but I just mean enjoying, enjoying the process of your hard work, knowing that you, you accomplished what you wanted. And now you get to kind of enjoy that. It's so much more valuable than just going to a party. Yeah. You, I, you can enjoy for like, all, when you get older, hundred percent, you have a lot more money. hundred percent, a hundred percent. I agree with you a million percent. You, uh, your brother posted a video the other day, that video of his fight, I think with the Brazilian guy where he, he dodged yeah. that kick, like, like fucking uh, Spider-Man. Yeah. And, yeah. and it was, to, it was the, the video in the video, the audio was talking about how the clubs will be there. They're not going to go anywhere. The parties are still going to be there. None of that's going to matter. Focus on your goal. And I think it's it's such a valuable point. So, yeah. dude, at 17, really impressed. Keep doing what you're doing. Um, yeah. What are you planning on doing now with MMA? Do you want to try to get into UFC? Do you want to go to one championship? What are you kind of thinking? Uh, UFC is uh, my goal. Um, it's That's the biggest stage, you know. Nothing could ever, ever compare to the UFC. Everybody knows it's the highest level. If you want to be the actual best in the world, you need to be the, in the top and the champion of the UFC, and then you can be called the best. So that's 100%. That's my, my biggest dream. You know, that's what's keeping me hungry until I achieve that. Now how I'll never lose the hunger and never lose the motivation to keep success. So that's what keeps me driving that, that the moment when I get there. And I know it can be a long time, but uh, so I'm so ready for it. So ready for the challenge. Wow. Well, you got so much time ahead of you, man. You're only 17 years old, so. I have a lot know, of time. Also. Yeah. You have so much time. I mean, if you if you transfer out of Muay Thai, even in two years, three years, 
and you start to really train for MMA, you already have a very strong martial arts background. Muay Thai is already super valuable. You know, it, Muay Thai isn't the most dominant martial art in UFC, but once you already have that that training, it's so much easier for you to transfer into the the martial art, um, uh, mixed martial arts in general. You know, so. I mean, dude, even if you get into major martial arts at 20 years old, 21, 22, you're still super young. Um, and, and so that's that's just amazing. There's uh, there's a lot of Israeli fighters that are I, I know you're about to say something. There's a lot of Israeli fighters that are that are really making their way to the UFC. It's pretty, pretty awesome. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, the level is getting higher. Everybody. And now what I love the most is like everybody starts to support all the, the highest level athletes start to support each other. And all help each other get more followers, publishing each other stories on Instagram. What we we united now, that's amazing. That's just Jews, man. That's just how we are as Jews, yeah. man. We're just yeah. I, I every every Israeli fighter is extremely close. You know, not everyone knows each other that well, but everyone kind of knows each other, yeah. and uh, it's really special to see. Even even the, the Israeli fighters that aren't Jewish, they're still super close with everybody. And yeah. uh yeah, it's really special, man. It's really nice to to know everybody. I'm getting to know everybody personally. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. So it's it's really nice to be part of it. Um, okay, so that's really awesome. I'm I'm really happy to to see what you're up to. Are there other things you wanted to maybe discuss that you wanted to let people know about upcoming fights, any kind of future plans? Um, for now I don't have a book to fight yet, but it will be an audible yes, and it'll be uh a big fight. My uh, they told me it's gonna be a big fight for me. Um, uh, trying to get me. Um, they're trying. They're gonna help me and I'm the organization and, and myself to get to the to the belt as fast as possible. Like give me the biggest fights and training hard. Um, so I'm just ready for everything that pops up. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, I I wish you a lot of success on it. Last thing I wanted to ask because I actually forgot to to bring it up to you before I I asked you this last question. Uh, are you getting a lot of hate messages? Are a lot of people messaging you uh, all the time? Anyway, anyway. Uh, I just I just laugh at them. I just laugh at them. This guy, this guy wanted to me. I I I knew this guy. Um, saw him in a couple competitions. I think he was from Uzbek. Not even not even like that Arabic. Uzbekistan. The Muslim, it's running some curse messages and saying he's he's also trained in Thailand, saying I'll fight you, I'll show you the Muslim power. So no, hey man, show me Muslim power, show me it. I'm waiting. Uh, whenever you want, I'll come. I'll, I'll come to you. And he just erased his messages. I'm like, oh, it's so funny. He erased the messages. He erased. He just erased the messages. <laughs> <laughs> and I know him. I know. I know him. I saw him. He used to compete in the same competition as me. So you know, you know without a doubt, you would beat him in a fight. Is what you're saying? I'll kick his ass. I keep in a fight, but ah, I'll kick his ass. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Let's yeah, go. I'm That's awesome. Yeah, right. Okay, dude. I'm, uh, this is good. I love. I love this shit. I live for this shit. This is. This is like when I when I, the more I talk to you guys the more I realize how much I want to get more into it because I don't really have a, such a strong martial arts background, like very minimal, but uh, yeah. I got to do it. I just, I, I get such a, I get such a, an excitement from just listening to you guys. Um, yeah. I, I just, yeah, it's really special. It's really special. So I think that really covers that. So keep keep uh, keep representing us. I appreciate what you're doing. I wish you only success. I wish you and your uh, your brother success. May we win the war, Amen. and uh, may we get all the hostages back. God willing, may they come home safely, guys. Please make sure to subscribe, like, share. Uh, also, since I didn't mention this, make sure to follow Ahavat on Instagram. It's a H A V A T for anyone who's Jewish. I'm sure you can spell that pretty easily. Underscore Golden Boy. Okay, so that's Ahavat underscore Golden Boy. Ahavat Gordon is his name. Make sure to follow him. Make sure to support him. And again, thank you so much for coming on the show. It has been a pleasure.
Thank you, man, for having me. I had a yeah. blast. It was awesome. For sure. Is there anything else you wanted to mention before we wrap up? I just a big shout out and thank you for the podcast. It's amazing. Um, and yeah, if you guys will follow me and join me for my journey and my brother's journey, it's going to be an awesome journey and so much achievements. And it's going to be really inspirational for everyone. So, yep. See you in the top. Awesome. Sounds good. All right, guys. Again, like, subscribe, share, follow me on Instagram as well. For all of your real estate needs, this has been another episode of the Soothing Semantics podcast. Until next time. Peace.